Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different tone than the rest of my videos. This is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but I didn't... I didn't know how to come across or anything like that because the fact that the, the, the person that this video is about, they could be watching this video is almost just like a little unnerving to me because the person that this video is about is one of my family members. This video is going to be about an experience that I don't really talk about very often, only very few people in my life even know about it. And so this is going to be a story of how I was sexually abused by my cousin. So when I was younger, younger my parents, when I was five years old, got into a really bad fight and my mom was just like, well, you know what, I'm done. And my mom basically broke up divorced, got separated from my dad, and she moved to where we are now, which is Iowa. About a month later, my dad came up to Iowa from Oklahoma, and he was just like, I can't, he followed my mom and was just like, I can't not be with you, so I'm going, I'm going to be here. And so we move up to Iowa, which is where a lot of my mom's side of the family lives. I'm not going to say my cousin's real name, because more family could be watching this video, and I don't want to cause... <laughs> any, like, bad blood or anything like that, so I'm just gonna say this cousin's name was Whitney. So Whitney and I, before any, before she had ever started to try anything, she, we were just really close. Like, we were really good cousins because, like, <laughs> me being who I am, I'm a really feminine kind of person. I do, like, I do like girly things. Like, I played with Barbie dolls, and I like to play in makeup and stuff like that. So I would always just hang out with Whitney rather than her five other brothers, um, which is who my brother would hang out with all the time. However, Whitney is the odd one out from everybody. Now, as me and Whitney would like hang out and we would just play with like the Barbie dolls and I, we would just like kind of, nothing like this, but we would fool around with makeup and stuff like that and you know, we would just be kids. When my grandmother was um, living in her house when she was still alive from like, I would say probably the years of like 2002 to like 2005, it was like a long period of time that this happened for. Oh, I'm starting to like tear up. Okay. So, my grandmother, in her basement, she had a, um, a, like, house toy playset. It was, like, a fake oven, uh, like, a fake stovetop oven. It had, like, little fake boxes of cereal. Little toy things of, like, that, you know, just, like, a little toy kitchen set. And in her basement, there was an area where you would go down the stairs. There'd be this big open area. To the, to the left, there would be a door. And in that, you would go through the door, and then you would go a little forward. There would be this big open area with a bed. And then to the right, there would be this, like, little laundry area with, obviously, a washing machine and a drying machine, a folding table, everything. Thing like that and um and the, to the left in that corner was the kitchen set the and um a toilet and a sink when we would go downstairs w the first time we actually went downstairs i just thought we were going to be playing house because that was just something we did it wasn't ever anything scary or frightening or anything like that you know it was just a game of house. There was one time where we gone downstairs, everything was whatever, we were playing house, we went over into the area where the bed was, and she, Whitney looks at me and she's just like, so you know what husband and wives do when they, when they live together, right? And this was right when she had started probably taking health classes in middle school and stuff like that, and they really start teaching you about sexual education and stuff like that. And she flat out said, she was just like, you know what husbands and wives do, right? And I was like six, I was seven years old, so I had no idea about this. And I was just like, they cook? <laughs> Because that's what we did. That's what I saw my parents do, at least. And she was like, no, they do more than that. But I remember the first time that she ever, ever did anything. She told me to put myself in her. And I remember, this is going to be like really TMI thinking about how young I was. But I remember pulling it out and asking her, why is it wet? And... I, I was, I really didn't know. And then she, I mean, she wouldn't make me, but like I was young enough to feel like I was being forced into this situation and she would make me put my fingers in her and she would, it was,
and this went on for like years and I I didn't know how to tell anybody because I thought, you know, that if I said anything, like, Whitney would get in trouble and I don't know why I was ever worried about that, but I never said anything and it always, it always just stayed with me. And like I said, this was over the course of like three years that this happened and, but I think that she... I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know why anything like this would ever happen. Um, I mean, she tried talking to me recently in the recent years, tried apologizing for what she'd done and everything like that, And but I just, I don't know. And this wouldn't even just happen at my grandmother's house. There would be times where I would spend the night at my aunt's house and um, it would happen there. She would, we would just hang out in her bedroom, and we would go to go to bed, and she would just be like, well, and so, clearly, it was emotionally scarring, because I can't even think about it without really tearing up and getting, like, this gross feeling inside. I, I don't, I can't imagine why anybody would ever want to do that to a child. Anyway, if you are, if you are suffering through anything like this, or God forbid, even worse, just make sure you do say something, make sure you do get help, because you could end up in a situation like me where I'm exposing it to a camera and crying to literally a light in front of me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna say if you guys like this video, because this isn't a video you should like, but if you guys found this video interesting, I don't know, leave a thumbs up or leave a thumbs down if you don't like Whitney. I don't know. This is a weird video to like. Anyway, subscribe for more from me. Make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any time that I upload, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.